Saturday NASCAR race day right here in Bristol. Join JR, Kenny, Kyle, Wendy, and Hermie as they will get you ready for the biggest battle in Thunder Valley. NASCAR race day built by the Home Depot live from Bristol Saturday. That's 5 Eastern, only on speed. Our point leader and most recent winner, Kevin Harvick, will be on the race day set. Should be a great one. Ray Dunlap. Another great start for James Busher, but the 31 Volunteer Chevrolet in the garage as they assess the damage here. James, it appeared to me that you had made a commitment to go to the bottom. Was that just a nowhere to go situation? Yeah, pretty much nowhere to go. You know, this uh, Volunteer Chevrolet uh, Wolfpack Reynolds trucks was awesome. Uh, you know, hit it early, kind of, I think maybe too early. Had to save some fuel to get to the end, but we were, we were going to try to get to the end. And, uh, you know, I was riding right there outside the top five, and, and I was in my cruise control. And the, the truck was had way more speed in it, but uh, I had a long way to go on my tires. So I uh, figured I'd take it easy for a while and let them other guys that were in front of us go ahead and go to pit road. But, uh, you know, she got spun by somebody, but, you know, she, she would have locked up the brakes and stopped the truck. Maybe it would have kept from taking us out. But, uh, oh, well, uh, you know, everybody knows we had a fast truck. We qualified up on the outside pole, and, uh, you know, it was running up front all night so unfortunate we'll go to Chicago okay it looks like they may be done for the night Adam and we should give a pop to a driver who's been very successful in his career debut we're talking about Miguel Paluto driving the 77 truck came to pit road took four tires at lap 32 he has not been back since and the key for any driver at Bristol keep your nose clean he has done it another driver who has done that Mike Skinner, the race leader on pit road, getting his first service of the night at lap 90. He said, I'm good in two, three, and four. I need some help into turn one. Stacy Johnson, the crew chief, going to make a minor air pressure adjustment. A pull off on the windshield and the five away. Harvey Sadler on pit road. The hood is up on that truck. Looks like maybe some overheating issues with it as well, guys. It looks like, and you know, Andy Hillenberg owns this truck. and. At Rockingham, we're going to have the ARCA Racing Series finale in October, and they're offering a special. If you go to the website, RockinghamSpeedway.com, you can buy four tickets, four hot dogs, and four cheer wines for $44 until September 15th. Do it by then. Pretty good deal. There's the damage to the 17, and he also was involved in when Jennifer Jill Cobb came down. Just barely clipped that back yeah, bumper. Yeah, you, you can see here how close Timothy Peters was to getting hooked back up into that outside wall. Watch. Just going to catch the rear bumper, and then James came along and really made some contact with Jennifer Joe, but a close, close call for Timothy Peters. I have an update, guys. We got on the caution lap versus green laps. At, at lap 92, we're 49 green, 43 yellow. Oh, uh, with the greens winning out. The greens went winning out, but it's a it's a milder Bristol, but we don't seem to be <laughs> being able to prove it. Double A. Adam. And Mike Skinner had to come back down pit row. Stacy Johnson told him they did not get the truck full of fuel. Mike radioed back. Come on, guys, stay focused. We do not want to give this race away. But you guys can look at the scoring monitor. Not many people pitted there. How many spots did he lose having to come back down the pit lane? It, it, was, a, it was a few. I know Max Pappas, Chris Jones, some of those guys had pitted as well. So you don't want to give up any ground, especially when you go with this strategy of pitting late. He's going to have his work cutting. If everything went perfectly, it's going to be hard for him to ever get back to the front. You give spots away like that for no reason, certainly going to be hurt. And you never know when you're going to get caught behind something like what happened with Jennifer Joe Cobb, how that caught up James Busher. And Almost Timothy Peters. Well, Saturday, August 28th, Scott Pruitt and Mima Rojas look to make history as the Rolex Sports Car Series heads to Montreal. The 01 team is seeking an unprecedented eighth victory. You don't want to miss the Rolex Sports Car Series live from Montreal Saturday, August 28th, 2 p.m. Eastern, 11 a.m. Pacific, only on speed. So our point leader, Todd Bodine. Where does he run on the racetrack? He's currently running in the fifth spot. Yeah. And that's guess, guess who's right behind him. I was going to say that's OK for Todd. That's a pretty good spot because, yeah. you know, he looks in the mirror and he sees second in points. And he's running <laughs> yeah. in six. You can't gain any points like that, Phil. And he looks out the windshield and there's third in points, Timothy Peters. So he's got him right around him. And, you know, Todd wasn't too excited about the way this truck was running earlier today. He didn't like it at all. In fact, he almost said, you know, we're going to be lucky to be competitive tonight. But again, a top five run so far for that team. They look like they're bearing down on this championship. Ron Hornaday's having problems tonight. Looks like he's going to pretty much eliminate himself from this battle. For pretty much. And Todd Bodine is certainly taking control. Guys, 
have you realized we haven't even made it to halfway already? We have had some unbelievable things happen on the racetrack, and we're not even at halfway. I'm just reviewing what's happened so far <laughs> for these guys, Rick. Ray Dunlap. Hey, guys, while Michael is doing all his mathematics up there, how about this? Adam had his calculator out earlier today and figured out that Kyle Busch had led 1,000 566 laps in the three different NASCAR divisions right here at Bristol. He's going to put some tally on that tonight for sure as we haven't gotten to halfway and that 18 is out front. Not sure if anybody will challenge him, but Mikey, keep track of those numbers. That's pretty impressive. Kyle Busch loves to be out front here at Bristol. He's going to have a good restart here. He has Elliott Salem to his inside. Back into the gas they go. Problems for the 47 of Bobby Hamilton Jr. getting back up to speed. He checks up as he crossed the line, but the field able to get by him. How about Timothy Peters? Going to grab the second spot from Elliott Sadler. He took it right away from Elliott Sadler. Nine, at Crafton. There's Miguel Paluto in the 77. Been extremely impressed with Miguel Paluto as Adam reported. What a great early run he's having so far. Being shown right now in the eighth spot. Yeah, and he was mixing it up with Brad Keselowski under that last green flag run. Brad couldn't do anything with him. Miguel's doing a great job. Brad just going by the 52 of Ken Schrader. There you see Justin Lofton in the seven trying to hold off the 33 of Hornaday. There's Miguel Paluto just in front of them. Now he's got Hornaday, a four-time series champion, right on his back bumper. How about all the problems that Ron Hornaday's had? And right now he's running ninth, going for eighth against Miguel Paluto. And I bet you no more than, than Miguel's been around NASCAR racing. He's heard of Ron Hornaday. And oh, he knows he's a guy. Hornaday got into the back of him. Yeah, he's, yeah I was going to say, he knows he's a guy that's going to be aggressive, and that's exactly what he was. He just took that position away from Miguel. Miguel Paluto trying to hold off the seven of Justin Lofton now, as Lofton looks to the bottom of the racetrack. You think Miguel's thinking, now why'd he do that? <laughs> oh, that's Ron Hornaday. Welcome to the Camping World Truck Series. He just tried to cut under him, and when he, uh, he got a little bit loose, I think, after he made the initial move. He's been a little rough on that right front fender tonight. Halfway, guys. There's the halfway side. Ryan Sieg on the inside. Mike Skinner on the outside. Mike Skinner's making his move back towards the front. He's got a... 99 laps now to get back to the front. See if he can make those pressure tires work. He's going to drive up on the outside of John King. Certainly been impressed with this young man tonight. Yeah, top 20 runs so far, running on the lead lap. Just learning so much, too. Everything he sees is something that he's never seen before. And to be able to be as consistent and steady and, and do that, it's almost like he has Bill Elliott up top spot for him, keeping sure. him calm, telling him what to do. Well, maybe he does. Well, Short I track right. racing. I think he does have Bill Elliott. For the Camping World Truck Series, this is 10th, 11th, and 12th. Brett Keselowski made a pit stop on that last restart, I mean, on the last caution flag. That's why he's back this far. Remember, he had just gotten in front of Miguel Paluta before the caution came out, then came back to pit road on the caution. Look who's right there in that battle for that spot. Miguel's running in 10th. That's Bobby Hamilton Jr. back in the 13th spot. It's good to see Bobby being competitive. We talked at... Uh, when he ran at Kansas, excuse me, at St. Louis, how he was competitive, and I thought, man, he just feels like he's got something he can do. He can prove that he can still do this job, and now here he is running up near the top ten. Miguel Paluto still able to hold off Brad Kozlowski, David Starr, and the 47 of Bobby Hamilton Jr. Starr was passed by Brad Kozlowski. Kozlowski trying to take 10th away from Miguel Paluto. To Miguel's found that outside line as well. He's found, he's found some grip up there. Brad's going to work to the inside to try to get by him. Well, this is what Brad was doing before the caution. He couldn't quite pull it off. Looks like he's got a good run on the bottom this time. It does get around Miguel Paluto. Heavy, heavy traffic back here. There's Ricky Carmichael, the four truck. Mario Geislin, the 12. Here's Max Pappas moving to the inside of the board. Ricky Carmichael. There's Carl Long in the double zero. What about Carl Long battling along with these guys? Ricky's had a couple of rough breaks lately. A huge crash at Darlington. I know all that side by side and three wide stuff's probably got his attention right now. He didn't want to run anything, run into anything again. Ricky Carmichael's been all over the racetrack. As high as seventh, as low as 30th. Following Mario Goslin now in the number 12. 
Max Pappas running the entire 2011 season in the Camping World Truck Series. Ooh, Mario Gosselin got down on the apron, got completely sideways. Yeah, and trying to get by Ricky Carmichael. And don't don't look now, but the leader is has caught us. We've got Kyle Busch that's driving up on the back of these guys, and you know, Phil, that'll just heat up the intensity. These guys battling for positions, they don't want to go a lap down, obviously, and so you'll start to maybe shove and push a little bit more than you would if Kyle wasn't joining the party. There's Kyle Busch trying to get by Max Pappas. He looks to the high side. Carl Long just in front of him in the double zero. It's going to be difficult with these trucks running side by side. There's a lap truck of Norm Benning. They're going to make it three wide for a moment. Kyle's able to safely go by those trucks. They're 21 on the lead lap, but Thanks. that number is going to start going down quickly as Kyle Busch starts clicking off truck after truck. Yeah, he's looking at Ricky Carmichael. Ricky's running in that 21st spot. He's trying to get to the outside of Clay Greenfield before Kyle Busch gets to the inside of him. There's Austin Dillon. We know how much trouble he's had tonight. He's barely hanging on to the lead lap right now as well. Kyle Busch again won the pole earlier today, but because of adjustments they made to that race truck, he had to race or start this race in the back. So he came from 35th all the way up to the front and leading laps at Bristol. You know, Michael, you were talking about how many caution laps we've had, but when they run green flag laps, man, do they click by fast. It, it, it looked just like a few moments ago, we got the cross flags for halfway. We've already put 16 more laps in the book. When they go at 16 seconds a lap or 17 seconds a lap, they go fast. They do go by fast, don't they? You can see Timothy Peters as they're in this lap traffic. He's been able to close in on Kyle Busch, but now Timothy's looking like he might be meeting a robot. Austin Dillon going a lap down now to Kyle Busch. We've got 18 on the lead lap. Timothy Peters is trying to be the spoiler tonight. Kyle Busch going for three in a row from Bristol in the trucks. Coverage of the NASCAR Camping World Truck Series on Speed is brought to you by Nature Valley Granola Bar, the taste nature intended. By the University of Northwestern Ohio. For more information on the University of Northwestern Ohio and their programs, go to www.unoh.edu. And by Fusion, the 2010 Motor Trend Car of the Year. Get in and drive one. Driving is exactly what Kyle Busch is doing here in Thunder Valley. He has driven past, well, virtually everyone. Oh, he's got a, got a truck sideways down in turn. Sideways goes the 48. The 46, 46 of John, John King. King. The 46 goes sideways. The caution comes out. He had gone a lap down. Kyle Busch had closed in on our 16th place running truck of Kenny Schrader just as the caution flag had flown. John was running in 17th, uh, I dropped to 18th, but he was certainly having a really steady, consistent run. That little slide isn't gonna cost him much, it doesn't look like. Get on, get to pit road, get four more tires and go at it some more. Is that a, out of the back of, uh, is that Kyle Busch's? Yeah, he yeah, just had gone a lap down, just got a little bit loose getting in the corner. Did a nice job not making any contact with anything. Look, look well, the damage back to the back of that race truck. Ooh, I love that crowd, Rick. Spectacular Rick. crowd here in Bristol. And they're seeing a great race. Kyle Busch has worked his way to the front. Timothy Peters will now restart right next to him when we come back.